All right, so we're here at the Baltimore Washington Tech Meetup. Uh, we're going to have a conversation about Safari 4, which just came out. The initial impact is the, the, the startup screen is much like Google Chrome, where you've got um, recent web pages viewed, kind of displayed. It's a snapshot of the, of the home page, if you will, and it's displayed on your screen. So you can just click on it, and then it immediately opens up right onto to the, the browser in full screen. Um, this, though, with Chrome, I think it's nine, eight or nine. This has, it looked like 12. So the neat thing is, is that Apple already gives Gives you kind of the most popular websites um, from CNN to yeah. eBay to Amazon. But as you enter in your own websites or do your own searches, it starts to adapt just like Firefox 3. Once it learns a new website that you go to and you frequent, it replaces one that you don't go to with one that you do. So that's kind of the same with Chrome um, and with Firefox 3 is that you can start entering in a URL and it automatically start pulling up and it'll kind of remembers you know where you want to go. Um, so it's that uh, um, feature. So each of the different pictures is that a cached image or is that always live sites? I mean, does it have to load nine up live sites? I think it's cached. I think it's cached, but it's recent cached. So with Google though, I've seen that I, like if I visited a page in July of last year, that's still the image that comes up. Yeah, With yeah. Safari though, I think it's behind the it, scenes it might read. It, it well, yeah, it'll save it. Like if you go to it, it'll save it. And then the next time you go to it, it's a recent pick. So it kind of overwrites it. Got it. It actually updated and then zoomed in. Yeah. And then when it minimized again, when he closed it, it was the most recent. And, and that's the other cool so it thing. On the fly. You can open it and close right back out. Yeah. So yeah. the other cool thing is that with Chrome, and when you click on it, it kind of treats it as a link, and it'll just go, it'll like refresh the page and then go to the website that you want to go to. With Safari, it zoomed that little mini icon out to the full screen, so kind of cool. It's also, it's curved, it's all in a black background with a reflective screen at the bottom, so that's pretty cool. Now the other thing that it comes with, which just on Twitter and some of the blogs um, that I've read is that people are uh, not quite sure what to think about the tabbing system. So the blue Chrome of like like Windows XP, that Chrome, that's where your tabs go. So instead of it being in the browser, it's a Once again, there's been another advance in speed of the browser and JavaScript. Um, well, okay, so Safari 3 used WebKit. Is it, is it still built off of WebKit? I don't know that. I can tell you. Safari. Safari 4 is it built off of WebKit. I don't know why Apple would move away from completely from. I'm sure it's built off. Which was I'm lightning sure. fast. And and this is notably noticeably faster than Firefox 3 yeah. and even Chrome. Mm -hmm. They've definitely nailed the JavaScript. Firefox faster 3. than Chrome. Yeah, I mean, yeah. not not super fast. Firefox uses a JavaScript for Firefox. For 3.0, yeah, three. it Firefox uses three. sort of the old school style, but then like with three, like you said, 3.1, it, it uses one that's enhanced and that it actually compiles the, it doesn't recompile the JavaScript. Yeah, the entire JavaScript, instead of Rather reading it, well, when it's called, yeah. it yeah. throws the whole thing together, which is what Chrome does. Yes, yeah. exactly, and that's what Safari right. 4 is doing too. <laughs> right, which definitely stepped it up. And it's, so it's but the difference is now Safari 4 has pre-compiled JavaScript plus WebKit engine. We assume. Well, we, I don't know for sure. Yeah, it's making it maybe you know lightning fast. Yeah, yeah, it's definitely right fast. So bottom line, so uh, Safari is is really good. Uh, Google Chrome is yeah, maybe Safari just a close a little bit. Let's go in order, right? So we had. Net, uh, Netscape communicator originally. <laughs> and then we whipped out a little IE action, right? And then we had Firefox and then IE6. Well, you're leaving, out, market I mean, you're leaving out Opera and. Oh, it's, it's, I mean, it's just it's it's I'm, I'm talking about who put it up. Oh, okay. And then we have Firefox and then IE7, like, oh, no, like no, Firefox hit out here, IE7, like, like went here. Oh, right. Yeah. <laughs> they, didn't, really? they didn't even, like, come close. No. Yeah. And then now we're looking at Google Chrome. Yeah. Uh, well, well so, sorry. Firefox 2. Firefox, Firefox 2. 3. Google Chrome came out before Firefox 3. No, it was after. No, okay. So Firefox 3, Google Chrome, Safari 4. Um, it's definitely feature-wise very nice. Market share, we're still looking at IE6, yeah. then IE7, and I then really Firefox, and then IE7 Safari. Do you think IE7 hasn't overtaken IE6 in market share? No, it has no, not. No, no, it has no, not. IE6 has 40% now. Yep. I'm amazed yeah. at that. It's, it's crazy. Yeah. It's so, people, yeah. <laughs> please stop people, using IE.